Hi guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about all the different types of filters and slicers that are available within Power BI. We will learn about what is filters on this page, filter on all pages, filter on a particular visual, etc. Right. So let us get started. Um, so I have three different three pages over here, which are basically the duplicates. Right. So let us begin with uh, this particular slicer that I have here for item type. Right. Now this item type slicer over here currently it is selected at we have selected serials. Right. Now let us say you have three different pages. Okay. And you want one page for serials. Okay. And then another page for clothes and another page for fruits all right so you have created these three pages okay now you have this slicer over here wherein you can select cereal in this and then you can select clothes in this and then you can select fruits in this okay so let's go back to fruits clothes and see what's happening so we have clothes selected right now this is the slicer which is not linked to each other now what i mean by this is let us click on this and there is if we go to the uh, format tab oh sorry if we if we go to the view tab and then there's sync slicer option over here so when you click on this on the right side you will get a dialog box where all these slicers are available okay let's say for example we're now looking at cereal clothes and fruits these three are the tabs that we are working on okay so the first section here on the, on the right side it is telling us that whether you want to view this slicer or not okay so on serial it is checked so if i uncheck this it, it is going to disappear so if i check this again it is going to appear all right likewise now the left side here is talking about sync right so let's click on all these three and see what happens so we had selected clothes here and we had selected fruits here so if i go back to clothes we see that cereal is selected now if i go back to fruits we still see that cereal is selected now why is this happening this is happening because we have synced all three slicers together now when you can use this kind of a slicer okay so let's let me go back here and uh, sorry let me close this so sync slicer i'm going to uncheck both these over here okay and go back to my serial page so now when can you use this sync kind of a slicer okay so for example now i have this particular slicer over here okay so it is visible in serials let me make this visible on fruits and cereal as well now let's go to clothes over here so we have the order date visual. Uh, let me uncheck serial. Uh, it's not appearing for some reason. So let me just delete this and copy paste this particular visual. Okay, I have copied this and now I'm going to paste this on clothes. So the moment you copy paste a, a slicer, right? Now here it is going to ask you whether you want to sync the slicer or you don't want to sync the slicer now let's say i want to visualize the spend for or the sales for 2021 year 2021 right across my cereal clothes and fruit so i'm going to click on sync over here okay so the moment you click this i'm not sure what is happening let me just get rid of this slicer and get rid of this cereal okay Okay, so the moment you say sync, right? So let us select 2021. So you want to visualize the sales for 2021 across all the pages that you have in your dashboard for cereals, for clothes and for fruit. So if we go to cereal over here, you will see that 2021 is selected. Okay, now if I click on 2016 and go back to clothes, you will see that 2016 is selected here as well because we have seen those slicers. If you make any change in this slicer, it is going to affect in all the slicers right now it is up to you to decide when you want the slice slicers to sync and when you don't want the slicers to sync for example over here in this scenario we don't want the slicer to sync 
because on this particular page we only want to look at cereal on this page we only want to look at let's say uh, fruits let's say uh, this is clothes right so we only want to look at clothes and on this page we want only want to look at uh, uh, fruits right so that is how it works now this is regarding the slicers now there is something there are more filters which you can use for example on this page we this, so there are two options here one is filters on this page and then filters on all pages okay let's talk about filters on this page what happens when you when you have filter on this page now let me go to fields and bring in let's say country to this page okay now let's say you're looking at fruits and you want to take a look at uh, just one country let's say china okay so you filter for china and the page here is filtered for china only okay now let's say you want to add a filter which will filter the entire dashboard entire power bi report itself so in that case what you need to do is you need to pull this country into all pages and then when you click when you select uh, uh, let's say Canada in this case okay when you select Canada here you will see that even the clothes is filtered for Canada only now if you look here I have the country visual over here as well so it is showing it is displaying Canada likewise if you go to serial here we have country which is going to be Canada only now this is the difference between having it on this page and having it on all pages now there's another option where you can filter only on a particular visual okay now let's say total sales amount by order priority okay total sales amount by order priority now you want to filter only on this particular visual to show only let us say uh, high priority orders now if you go to filters here and when you click on this you will see there is another section which is visible right now which is filters on this visual we have filters on this page here we have filters on all pages here now there's another section here which is filter on this visual now if we go here we can select h for example so it is only going to display h for us right so these are the different types of filters and slicers which are available in power bi which you can use based on your requirement to address your needs right so that's about it in this particular tutorial i hope you guys have learned something new today i and uh, please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials